Hey, what's up guys, Rev here. So today we're gonna look at two different topics. The first one is going to relate to the continued outrage stemming from the upcoming anime series, My Tiny Senpai. And then we're gonna look at the effects of aunties and how they have brainwashed kids on TikTok into believing the most ridiculous things about fictional characters and how it applies to real life. But first, I wanna give a quick spiel. Today is the final day you can get my limited edition advanced GG Ice Shaker. It features, of course, my VTuber model as well as my fiance, Darling Straub's VTuber model as well. Today is the last day. It is unlikely this will return. So if you want to take advantage of this, please use the link in the pinned comment and make sure to use the code REV for 10% off of your purchase. And P.S. before we get back to the video, thank you guys for all the generosity. You have blown all of our expectations out of the water and I really appreciate it. So as a reminder of where we are, on the first of this month, a few days ago, this trailer for the upcoming anime adaptation of My Tiny Senpai was posted onto Twitter. And this is something we covered in a video a few days ago, but within the thousands of quotes, there are some of the most disgusting comments about this romantic anime series. And despite this frame you're looking at here, it features this character, which is a short stack. She is a short busty adult aged character and this romantic uh, love interest story takes place in an office setting and of course Twitter users see that and immediately think of children. The quotes are filled with all kinds of pedophilia allegations against the creators of the series and anyone who enjoys it and it also took the opportunity to hate on men for some reason. There's a ton of misandry, people saying that Anyone who enjoys this is an incel and should have a restraining order or be placed on a watch list for simply watching this anime. And uh, yeah, the, the hypocrisy and ridiculous logic they use was mind boggling. But I regret to inform you it has continued. And I want to use this post to kind of make my catch all statement and final statement in, involving this whole outrage. This user says these two should be used as a tourist test in the anime slash manga community. And it's a very good point in comparison. A lot of people have been relating this new character from My Tiny Senpai to Zaki-chan because they're both adult aged short stack characters who people are calling children for some reason. And I not only wanna use this as a tourist test to see if someone actually likes anime and manga, I think this is like a, a almost like rationality test. Like, is this person with us here in reality? Because if someone looks at, in particular, this right here, an adult-aged, busty anime character in a work setting, and the first thing they think of is a child, a real-life child, that person is unwell. They are not only self-reporting on their bizarre thought process, but I'm genuinely concerned of how they can differentiate between fiction and reality. It's concerning that people see this and immediately think of children. I could go through the replies and the quotes of the previous trailer we just looked at. There are pictures of real life children all throughout it. They're, they're, they're being regularly posted, okay? People are absolutely disgusting. These aunties will post literal children, actual real life children photos of them to people they think are pedos as some sort of an own because they say, oh yeah, this toddler I just posted a picture of, it looks identical to these characters. It is so disturbing. And if you see stuff like that, make sure to report it because yeah, disgusting. And uh, like in my last video, I raised the, the point that really when it comes to any sort of art style, whether a short character is gonna get demonized or not, largely has to do with what style it is. If it is an anime style drawing, aunties are gonna come out of the woodwork and call you a pedo for liking that stuff, or they're gonna call the character pedo bait or what have you. And people have raised very valid points that Western styled characters feature the same height gap dynamic featuring short adult characters, and nobody bats an eye. And it is very true. Of course, there's some outrage, involving uh, Western short characters, but it's not anywhere near to the level that anime style characters receive. And they use this example from Powerpuff Girls, right? So you can tell by the number of quotes and there's a lot of negative replies that people don't agree with this. They think there is a significant difference between these characters and this character. 
somehow this character, yes, this character is so much more mature looking than a character like this. I, I'm not even lying when I say that. They truly believe that. Thousands of people. And here is the biggest quote retweet. Before we read it, 73,000 likes and growing on this quote retweet of what we just looked at. This person saying, well, yeah, because there's a difference between styling a character to give them exaggerated proportions, yet still making it clear in their design that they're an adult and slapping double Ds on a 12-year-old girl and calling it a day. Yes, that's what they're using to differentiate this character from Uzaki-chan and My Tiny Senpai. When there's literally, in my personal opinion, this character right here looks younger than those characters. But that's my personal opinion. But all of them are adults. And also, most importantly, they're all fictional characters, okay? And they don't look anything like a real-life human child. And if you believe they do, you need psychiatric help, okay? And here's the funny thing about aunties. They set themselves up for failure. You remember my moniker that I love to use, your likes are public? Well, this person just set themselves up. Because when you say that these characters, these anime characters look like children despite being adults, and you hearken it on the fact that age in fictional content matters, and the appearance of these characters matters, and you can call someone creepy over it, well, I can ask the question, why do you have underage boys kissing in your likes? Why are those there, dude? Why do you like watching what you think are children kissing, ya freak? Yeah, it, it seems like an unfair game, but uh, it's the game they created for themselves. That's the rules they want everyone to play by. Well, guess what? You gotta play by them too. And that's why you look like a creep by your own standards. So congratulations. But this brainwashing everyone has experienced on Twitter with this whole concept of anything to do with fictional characters, whether it's their age or their appearance, is greatly captured by this thread. I'm gonna link this thread in the description. Please give it a look. There's a lot of screenshots and they're kind of hard to show off in this video. So go through and check them all out for yourself. It is pretty important to look at. So this user makes the thread starting with, I had to document this specific anti TikTok because it was so large scale, 18K likes and over 800 comments and displays a lot of the fears and concerns antis have that I've addressed in both of my published articles mainly fears of aging and being perceived as predators. So here's the TikTok, like, like you said, 18,000 likes. Here's the main question. Does anyone else feel complicated when you have a crush on a minor character because that crush lasts until I turn into an adult? Wouldn't that be considered illegal? First of all, no, they're fictional characters, but it's the replies to this that are just Honestly sad. So there's there's a whole string of replies here. I'm just going to open up this one just for reference sake. And like I said, if you want to go through them, go through the thread yourself that's linked in the description. But basically to sum these up, you have a large volume of what are mostly minors having a complete moral crisis over the concept of them out-aging their favorite fictional characters. These are minors who let's say are, you know, 15 years old and like a 15-year-old character. They are legitimately scared of what's going to happen to them when they turn 18 years old and that character is still 15. They are worried that they're going to be labeled a predator. Some of them are saying they, they should seek out therapy because they don't know what to do about this situation. It just shows you that these aunties, it is like a cult, okay? It is brainwashing these kids to believe some of the most insane and twisted logic you will ever see. I genuinely feel sad for these kids because they've been raised on this, okay? And if you go down here, there's more examples of this. Um, there's people in this reply section, minors, who are coming up with like their loophole, right? Like, I don't have to worry about this situation because I have crushes exclusively on adult age characters with that are much older than me as a kid. And that's like their safety net to avoid these things. And that's scary because these people treat fictional characters like they're real human beings. And they treat these age gaps they have with fictional characters like they're actually meaningful. But somehow in their mind, they excuse simping and loving characters that are much older than them and that are adults as their kids as some sort of a loophole. Like their kids 
you know, simping over adult characters, that's okay because at least someone won't call them a predator. Don't you see like the, the fallacy of that logic and how concerning that is, especially like I said, for people who treat drawings and their ages like they would real people, but somehow that string of excuse works in their minds, which has a very dark parallel when applied to real people. And that's concerning. And I'm very concerned about these kids. These are not rational thoughts that these kids are having and so normalized that a TikTok like this can get 18,000 likes and hundreds of comments from minors who agree with it and agree with its concerns. You know, first of all, why are there so many kids on TikTok? That's the first problem. But this just tells you big danger and aunties are having a real impact and a negative one. But again, check out this thread. I think it's really interesting. And uh, yeah, I think that's going to do it for this video. I know there was a lot to digest there. So share all of your thoughts in the comments section down below. Hope you guys enjoyed this video and I'll see you next time.